Hello, my name is Elric Orfano. I'm one of the fire engineers here at Fire Station One. And today I want to show you the command van. Come check it out. This vehicle is 33 feet long, has a height of 12 feet, six inches, and an approximate gross weight of over 17 and a half tons. The command van is a unique piece of apparatus in our fleet that at first glance looks like a regular Red City bus. We take a closer look and it serves a much different purpose. The purpose of the command van is to function as a command post for large incidents within our city. It helps us support our command staff with planning, logistical needs, which in turn equates to safer operations for our firefighters. The command van can be dispatched on request for large-scale incidents such as high-rise fires, wildland fires, or other natural disasters like the flooding we experienced in our city in 2017. The van is also useful whenever there is a long operational period, whereas emergency events is ongoing for hours or even multiple days. That being said, there are little added features throughout the van, such as this patio awning, which helps keep our chief officers out of inclement weather during the incident. This apparatus is also helpful with organization whenever a department is working underneath Unified Command. Unified Command is a team effort process that allows different agencies to work towards a common goal within an emergency incident. Under Unified Command, your San Jose firefighters are able to work more cohesively with the law enforcement counterparts as well as other fire departments from different cities and counties. Another unique ability of the command van is that our highly trained fire dispatchers can be requested to respond to the incident scene and dispatch incident communications from within the vehicle. With having clear communications playing such a pivotal role in our emergencies, this vehicle is equipped with a large telescoping antenna. Let's come check out the inside. The van also comes with an expansive li library of emergency pre-planned binders as well as worksheets that we can use as a reference or playbook for different types of incidences, whether it be urban search and rescue, hazmat, wildland, airport emergencies, whatever it is, we've got you covered. We also have many radios scattered throughout the van that allow our chiefs to monitor and communicate on multiple frequencies at once, as well as the ability to record radio traffic for immediate playback. The reason why this is so important is that with Unified Command, like I mentioned before, we're going to be working with multiple agencies simultaneously who have their own dedicated radio channels. Over here, this is our monitor for our telescoping camera boom, which is mounted on the back of the van. It allows us to view and record the incident from a quiet, secure location with the ability for long-range zoom so we can watch changes in the emergency scene. In recent years, the command van has been deployed on a number of incidences such as the floods in 2017, the 90-acre fire that we call the Colleen Fire that also burned in our Santa Teresa foothills last year, and most recently at the beginning of the pandemic to serve as, serve as a workplace for our leadership to mitigate and respond to the unprecedented effects that COVID-19 had on our department and our community. The command van has a lot of unique features that help us to organize and communicate more efficiently to better serve you. So remember, we're an all-risk fire department. No matter what happens, we have the tools and the training to respond to any emergency to keep the community safe. Until next time, thanks for watching.